Hi guys, so I'm here today to share my very first process video for Bible journaling and to be totally honest with you, I'm pretty scared <laughs> about this uh, video just because I'm doing something I've never done before in my Bible. I'm really, really nervous about, um, but I'm also excited because if it comes out as good as my practice sheet did, I think I'm going to be so happy. Um, so what I've done to the page, um, I guess I'll tell you the first, first of all, the verse, <clears throat> this is, uh, Proverbs 28, one. And the reason I'm doing this verse is for a challenge. Um, there is a Bible art journaling challenge group on Facebook and I will link it below. And every week she posts a new verse and a new challenge. And, um, I'll also try and link to her video. If not, it'll it'll be linked on the Facebook page. Um, but she did an awesome watercolored lion and it really inspired me to do that. But, um, I was really intimidated. I'm not a watercolorer. I don't, you know, I don't really do a whole lot with watercolors. So I was a bit nervous. Um, so I kind of tried to find, um, an image. I found this on Pinterest and this is actually from like the Narnia um, cover and I absolutely love this image because it basically has his face but then his like the mane and everything else just kind of flows out from there and there's just watercolor and just lots of fun stuff um, all around so in order to watercolor in your Bible you need to prep your page so I used some gel medium on my page already it's nice and dry um, and I want to show you what I did before I did that is I placed my image, I printed it off, and I placed it in here where I wanted it. And then I have this app on my phone called Lightbox, and it's just this white screen, and then you have this little lever that can dim or brighten as much as it possibly can. And so I set this behind the image, and I did have to move my phone around just because it's not ideal, um, but it works for me, <laughs> and it got me kind of the gist of what I wanted to do. So I have very, very faint lines here um, of my image, and I did the same thing on a piece of watercolor paper just to test out if I was even capable of doing something remotely decent, <laughs> and this is how my... Um, yeah, my practice page came out. And obviously there's like there's like white splatters here and there that I didn't I didn't add to the page. I did add some gray splatters over here and I did add a touch of white, but I think on my final one I will add more. Um so I did the same thing. I um I traced the image um uh, basically his eyes and kind of gave myself little guidelines of where his nose is. Um, and his mouth and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, the rest of it's just kind of flowy, watercolory. So I felt like this is something I could do. So, like I said, I'm really, really nervous about this, but I'm going to go ahead and just dive in. So, like I said, I prepped my page with gesso, but <clears throat> I am also going to put a piece of paper back behind here just to protect the rest, like the edges of my Bible pages over here. And then I'm also going to put a page over here to protect this one. Now I could, you know, extend the watercolor onto the other page, but I don't really want to do that this time. So, and another thing I'm going to do is um, grab a piece of washi tape and tape this top corner down to that paper just to kind of help me I'm gonna, I don't want it super sticky, so I'm going to stick it in my shirt first because I want to make sure that it doesn't rip my Bible page. Okay, so I gessoed the page, and it should be fine. Um, you want to make sure that you do take the time to do that, whether you, you could use gel medium uh, or gesso. I use gel medium because my gesso is white, so it would cover the words because um, it's opaque. But... Um, Anyways, okay, so I have a few brushes that I'm using, um, some bigger ones, 
you know, obviously for, um, like to just lay down some color initially. And so that's what I'm going to start off doing. And I'm not using any fancy watercolors. I'm using these from Michaels. I believe the brand is Artist Loft. Um, so really they're nothing crazy fancy. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go in and just get my paintbrush wet and get lots of paint on there. And I'm actually going to end up washing a lot of that out because it's just too much. Um, the other thing, even though you did gesso the page, you kind of want to be careful with how much um, water you're using. And just to be safe here, I'm going to go ahead and put that right there just to kind of give myself some guidelines. So like here where there, it's lighter under his eye, I'm going to go ahead and start there and just kind of work my way over. And then I'm going to come up above his eye and kind of use like a flicking motion. And this this color is really wanting to like just pool on top of my page, but if you let it set, it'll be just fine. And my verse is actually down here at the bottom of the page, so I just wanted to kind of have it instead of like underlining it or anything like I would normally do. I'm just going to kind of bring this in. And you probably can't even see my lines at all, but I can. And that's all that matters. <laughs> so. And I kind of try and do like a, like hair-like motions, but out here toward, you know, once you get out toward the edge, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's kind of just all over the place so and I'm going to kind of take this down and kind of create that lighter color I am gonna leave a tiny bit of white space here and there because there is highlights in here and it's hard with watercolors to add to go back and add highlights I can use I probably will go back and use like acrylic paint to do the highlighting but um, for now, I'm just going to kind of leave that white space just to help myself out a little bit. And I'm going to come down even closer into the eye area and make that darker. Now, this is going to look like an absolute disaster for quite a while. I think until the very end, I pretty much hated my thing. And I was just so bummed because I wasn't going to be able to do it how I wanted to in my Bible. But, like I showed you, the end result was good. So, um, I'm going to kind of um, blend out this a little bit more because as you can see it kind of there's a little tiny bit of like a yellowish color but it kind of turns into more of like a tan over here and then it goes into the blue so I don't want a ton and I'm actually gonna go ahead and put some yellow over here in his little area right here um, and just kind of, okay. So now I'm going to go in, since I've got that laid down, I'm going to 
it's dry, but I'm just going to kind of leave it for a little bit. <laughs> the thing with watercolors that I've learned is just to keep adding layers. It just, it is, you just have to kind of get over the fact that it's going to look hideous for a little while. <laughs> and you're going to hate it until like the very end. So, 